Hello there, welcome to Swiggy and Steve's Bargain Beer Reviews. But this time it's a little bit of a sellout review because I've already drunk it. I accidentally um, took the uh, camera off record and didn't realise till I'd finished drinking it. So, it's the Black Sheep um, Milk Stout. And for those of you that have not watched my channel before, I do review the beer and drink it in front of you. So, that's what I normally do. But in this case today, obviously, my uh, camera went. I'm not buying it again because I'm, well, I am skin. Um, and secondly, it's, uh, I don't really want to buy it again, you know what I mean? Um, there's too many other beers I'd rather drink out there. And I am trying to think about my figure a bit, you know, I am drinking, I don't drink a lot, but I don't want to just be drinking for the sake of doing a review again. So I do like to drink quite selectively if I can at weekends and just choose beers I really well want to drink. So, I big this up as probably, it's the final one in the um, six beers, courtesy of Matt Briggs. Thank you, Matt Briggs. And it's a milk stout. Now, I drank this about two or three years ago, and I really liked it. However, however, um, it's actually not as good as the other beers, I must say. I think, personally, on the smell, um, it, there's an overwhelming metallic note. You are getting a little chocolate notes. You're getting a little slight milky, lactose sort of... But the, the, like the milky, subtle sort of coffee notes it's you get the roasted notes but it's all masked behind quite a metallic smell actually i'm quite surprised it was a little bit off-putting poured it decent body um it retained its head a little bit but it was kind of almost like i don't know maybe it's because i'm used to drinking like a lot of can conditioned beers now or a lot of own brew that people are doing and it's naturally carbonated and it's just got, it just tastes so much better than, uh, for me, the carbonation in this, it was too gassy. Um, it just didn't suit the smoothness of a stout. So the body itself was okay. Um, yeah, I don't know whether the, it, it didn't, it, it didn't have a body of a stout that I'm used to at the moment. I mean, some of these beers in Tesco's, maybe, maybe it's because you pay a little bit more for some of the stuff there, but, um, yeah, it, it wasn't as as good as I, I remember. Overwhelming bitterness to it. Now that's maybe something else. I find I find really bitter stouts. Oh, no, I, I like to see a stout as a treat, almost, or as like a bit of a pudding, alternative to a pudding, or just a bit of a like. Whoa, yeah, I'm gonna live life tonight and have a stout because it's a little bit naughty, you know. I think you really get that. Quite, quite, quite a sharp. Um, earthy bitterness to it which i weren't that keen on to be fair uh, but you did get like a little lactose milk milk coming through it was quite a little bit creamy um so yeah a little bit disappointed however would i drink it again yes i would i would definitely someone had some of this i would definitely drink it again um i had a little bit of a coca cola to it which um, almost like a slight acidicness that i didn't quite like as well it was okay, but um, yeah, it did have a nice little chocolate note, a nice, nice roasted note to it, uh, and it went down well, went down well enough. And I'm not going to slam this beer and give it a low review. We're only one pound fifty at the end of the day. Uh, I think on cask that would be pretty, a bit would be nicer, would be a lot nicer. I would probably give it higher mark, but because of the comments I've put, because I think it was a little bit overcarbonated, a little bit thin on the body for me. Even some of the supermarket beers now, the the bodies of the beer are a little bit more padded out than this was. I'm going to give it a 7.3 out of 10. 7.3 out of 10. So if you've drunk this, let me know what you think. I was bigging this up, thinking it was going to be probably the best one of the six, and it wasn't. I think the Venus and Mars one was probably the nicest one, actually. Uh, although I quite like Velvo, actually, and I didn't think I'd like that one. I thought it was going to be a bit naff. So, yeah. Um... Black Sheep Brewery, brilliant beers. I will always, uh, when it when it comes to buying cask beers, always a go-to beer. Anyone out there wanting to get into real ales, Black Sheep are brilliant. Buy their bottle beers. If I buy this, we probably like it, you know. For me, a little bit too sharp on the hops. A little bit too bitter. A little, little bit thin. Too carbonated. A little bit of a metallic note as well in the smell for me. But overall, 7.3. I would drink it again. Um... There's better ones in the supermarket, though, I must admit. Maybe I'll try this again and see if it was good as I remember. 
do remember it being nicer when I first tried it. But hey, I don't, it could just be a bad batch or something like that. So yeah, that's Swigging Steve, and I will see you next time.